wrote this psychological thriller. Yes, I did. Um, uh, about a teacher and her students, and something goes terribly wrong, yes, which you say does. up front, so I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, yes. something does go terribly wrong. Yeah, yes. the second page has the word monstrous on it, so. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, uh, so, first thing I want to know is, is I mean, obviously, uh, it's about a teacher of classical literature. Yes, and, it is. And you were such a thing. Yes. I was such a thing at your old school. At Winchester. Yeah. Um, yes. I think we can safely say it, it was probably the literal opposite end of the spectrum from where Alex ends up teaching. I taught Latin and verb endings at the most fancy, swanky, delightful, adorable school in England. And I sent Alex to a pupil referral unit to deal with really difficult, um, troubled, I mean, actually, there were plenty of difficult and troubled children at Winchester, too. Oh, um, yes, I'm well aware. <laughs> but uh, these are um, very much less wealthy. I mean, the fees for Winchester, I have no idea what they are now, but some crazy, enormous, impossible yes. sum. Yes. Um, and these are kids in my book who've been thrown out of regular schools for behaving abysmally. Um, and I guess uh, an ungenerous person would say, and who don't have the resources uh, to be able to bribe a private school to take them when they've done that. <laughs> I, I couldn't possibly comment. In my case, it was more blackmail. Blackmail, yeah. Photographs still, huh? Yes. Yeah. You know, first of all, you know that I love the book. I love these kids, um, and I love the way that, um, uh, you know, you get inside that system and their lives just enough to make me fascinated by them, but not in a... Um, you know, I think of like Dickens or even like the casual vacancy where they're really dissecting society yeah, yeah. and how it's, how it's failing um, certain people. And, and uh, I feel like none of that, there's none of that distance no, in this. I it's a very not. loving book. It is. For a book which is all about grief and terrible things being done to people and suffered by people, I think it's a very loving book. I think mm -hmm. it is at heart all about Well, that. yeah, there's, I mean, there's, there's only passion and sympathy, even when you're describing, you know. Terrible deeds. Terrible deeds. Yeah, I'm quite, yeah, I think I might be quite soppy when it comes to it. I think, you know, there's, I feel like it's quite a humanist book. I know you always set out to make humanist mm. work, um, that there is nothing to save us except ourselves and the way we treat each other. Um, and so, Well, yeah. you know, um, uh, having rejected sort of, you know, the idea that there's a grand plan, you do focus a lot on structures, on structures oh, of I'm narrative. Structure. Obviously, Greek tragedy, which she is teaching them. Yes. Um, and one of my favorite things in the book is how um, you really get a sense of them learning how these things that seem to have nothing to do with their lives can inform how they understand their lives and yes. always will. Um, that's, that stuff is very exciting. But... Um, that structure is there for you. Do you is is were you trying to evoke Greek tragedy? Yes, I was trying to write a new Greek tragedy while these children were um, learning about real Greek tragedies. They would be acting out, or at least some of them would be acting out a brand new um, quasi Greek tragedy, I suppose. And I really wanted it to have a dramatic structure. The book's in five acts, as opposed to in sort of regular chapters and then the acts are divided into sections which in my original draft although not anymore in print uh, were scenes um, uh -huh. and so it was written it was really I mean I, I know that for somebody like you who's writing screenplays where you're never allowed to waste a single syllable um, there's a lot, a lot of spare words in it because it's a novel but it was written <laughs> with that Aristotelian principle that every scene should advance the plot and reveal something about character always advance the plot reveal something about character and so there are not I hope very many moments where you think at the end of it, I don't know anything more about what's happening, what has happened, or who's talking to me than I did before. I hope. No, I, I don't think there are any extraneous words. I think you used the right amount of words. Right. Actually, I wished for a few more. Did you? I, I could have. Yeah, you could have gone twice as long. I mean, I, I got really sucked in.